Hello, this is Buckle Supreme once again. Uh, we're gonna, of course, be continuing where we just left off last episode in The Walking Dead. So, uh, let's keep going. Let's see what we can see. There's a lot of dialogue in this game. <laughs> I wish I could talk more than I am right now, and right now, because, you know, this game is dialogue filled. And I don't want to miss, I don't want people to miss anything that could be important. Right now, from what I'm seeing, I highly recommend anyone that wants to try it for themselves to pick this up. Uh, I know you can get it, uh, the whole thing together for like $20, $30 uh, on disc, actually. So. Hopefully. Well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can give. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here, just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was a tough night. Well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Just don't know, guys. I just... Hmm. I'm having one of those nagging feelings. Of, like, this place is just too good to be true. I'm hoping that's not the case. But just... Ugh. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. You know? Like us. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Well, let's see what we can do. Do you think we're doing enough to get the St. John's to like us? Well, we don't want to seem over-anxious. Showing them we can handle this fence is gonna go a long way. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. It wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I... I'm... I'm sorry, all right? We'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. 
There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Looks like he's stuck. Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Little help here, Lee? If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on! Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on! Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here! What the? Get to the gate! Oh god. Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out! Show yourself! Get out of the open! Oh, sorry. Crap. What do we do? What do we do? I feel I can do this all day. Not working. Quick, he'll see. You. What about our arrangement? Did you really think you could fuck with us? You got lucky that time. Oh, I see what's causing the problem now. I already got one of you! Damn! Behind the tractor! Come on, if we can reach the gate, we can get through this we fence and back to the house. Ah! Shit! <laughs> <laughs> Give us the food! You asshole! I can't see ya! What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down we earlier. We're gonna have to move it. You really think you can fuck with us? Give us food! Where's our food, you ass? Where do you think you're going? I 
Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Fucking zombies, man! Damn ambush out there! Holy shit! Are, are you okay? Uh, bandits here on our property? Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, Mama? Yeah, I'll be all right once it's out. But God damn, it hurts. Hey y'all! Mark! Oh my God! What happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ! Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just. Pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What man kind of shit is this? this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it! Carly said this place was locked down tight! So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were gonna give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down. But I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Humans just become freaking are you animals. This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? <laughs> Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, kids, look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. Alright, well that's where we're going to end it for today. So... <laughs> Seems like these people actually are nice. I don't know, we'll see how this turns out. Uh, this is Buckle Supreme, until next time, signing out.